to see the bad man fly. Perhaps you will, my little love. Well, I'm the Lord of the Vale. When I grow up, I'll be able to fly anybody who bothers me. Or you. When we get married, you can tell me if you don't like somebody, and then we can bring them back here and whoosh! Right through the moon door. I thing. didn't ruin it. You did. It was already ruined because it didn't have a moon door. I was fixing it. Locking things down isn't fixing them, it's ruining I them. I didn't ruin it. You're being stupid. I didn't ruin it. Um, assim, poder participar de uma série tão legal, assim, tanta gente legal, tanto, todo mundo assim é muito legal no set. E assim, cada vez mais eu tô aprendendo mais sobre o meu personagem, aprendendo mais sobre mim. Um personagem tão assim doido como aquele é bom, uma chance boa para poder explorar mais a atuação e tudo. Ó, oh, bom, pessoal do Brasil aqui, assim, que, que assiste Game of Thrones, obrigado por, por aguentar meu personagem por tanto tempo. Eu quero agradecer o apoio que eu tenho tido de todos os fãs, de todas as coisas. E obrigado por ter a série e espero encontrar vocês no futuro próximo. This might come as a surprise to you, but the streets of London aren't paved with gold. They're uh, cold as ice, a stink of piss, and there's a villain on every corner. So uh, it's basically every man for himself. He's just trying to frighten us. Lannisters are all liars. No one will hurt my baby. Savardus, my sister's guest is weary. Take him down below so he can rest. Introduce him to Maud. My flesh and blood. It's wonderful to meet you, Aunt Lysa. You mustn't call me that in front of anyone else. Oh, of course, I understand. No one can know you're here. You put us in a very precarious position. Well, the Witch is set in round about 1627, and it's about a Puritan family who moved to New England, and they're so religious that they get banished from their plantation, and uh, set up in a wee cottage, they build a wee cottage by the woods, but they don't know a witch lives there. And when she kind of appears in the scene, from then on they go from such a tight, religious, God-fearing family to just just slowly, slowly unraveling until by the end they're in absolute chaos. Vosofro, Rishi. Rishi, sick. Uh, Caravos zigro adron anivaso. Mizigri, such a son dice. Ti keep in the usual for a Zacharias me era mai. Vez de fini essa de rechecerás. Fini ni era mai, vos sou só mai. Tá na chara que vos sale. And my wife was with me. She knew the whole cast and the whole crew. I didn't want her to see it. I didn't want to do anything. But we went to the. We we're gonna we were supposed to go to the premieres and meet the first two episodes. I'm like, nah. So we didn't go. She's like, you're not gonna stop me from watching it. I'm like, whatever. The DVD comes out. We don't even watch it. We don't have a TV, so we didn't. I didn't watch the whole series. Yeah. She's like, I'm watching. I'm like, great. I'm going to bed. Going to bed. I wake up at 6 a.m. of my wife, and I'm just like, "Hey, baby." She's like, "You're amazing." She's like, "You're and like first time my wife ever told me I was amazing," and she was just so proud. She stayed up all night, and watched the whole thing. Really? And was obsessed. You are not to leave the castle walls while we are gone. Do you understand? Listen to Mr. Lewin. Look after your little brother. I will. I'll send letters whenever I can. But if you don't hear from me, don't be scared. Neither Joffrey nor any of his men shall set foot in our lands again. If he disregards this command, then he shall suffer the same fate as my father. Only, I don't need a servant to do my beheading for me. Um, well, the accent I had to obviously tied to, to Derek, and uh, I don't know, if, if I'd been Scottish, it would have been a bit of a statement of where the kingdom was, I think. So um, it, was, it was much better to do that, and, uh, uh, and it worked a lot better, I think. Uh, and in terms of uh, Rob Stark, I mean, yeah, there's horse riding and sword fighting and stuff like that, but I suppose one of the parallels with Prince Kit is this sense of responsibility being thrust on you you've not asked for. Forgive me for staring at... I don't see many Lannisters where I'm from. I don't see many Dornish men in the capital. We don't like the smell. <laughs> Come with me, lover. Hilaria Sand, my paramour. The king's own uncle Imp, Tyrion, son of Tywin, Lannister. If there's anything I can do to make your stay in King's Well, what are you, his hired killer? I started that way, I. 
The last time I was in the capital was many years ago. Another wedding. My sister Elia and Regar Targaryen, the last dragon. I was born in Santiago, Chile. My family left when I was nine months old. After a year of political asylum in Denmark, we ended up in the States in San Antonio, Texas. We moved from San Antonio to California. I moved from California to New York. Uh, when I was 18, that became home. Uh, I kept my connection to Chile, so um, I would say that I am a Chilean, Texan, Californian, New Yorker. Your Grace, you are the rightful king, not only by blood. You're an honorable man, a just man, and there is still a war to fight. The life and adventures of Elio Grivas, first sword of Bravos. Thank you very much. I like this one. It's full of sword fights and pirates. You don't believe them. I understand that. It sounds like nonsense. But if destiny has brought Daenerys Targaryen back to our shores, it has also made Jon Snow king in the north. Uh, it's great. Listen, now, what are these? These things are celebrations, and, uh, and they're ju just wonderful. It's a brilliant honor to be here, and it's all of the above, and uh, it's, it's, it's very cool. And, I'm, I'm personally not nominated, which is great. I can have a little drink. Not too much. I am Irish. It's the law. I have to drink. Yeah, but if the show wins, you will have to go on stage. I'll stumble up. I have knee pads. You got the Davos beard, but you got a fancy suit here. Tell us about it. Uh, this, I, I can't pronounce it. How do you, hold on, let me read it. Is Iowa? Something like that? Sure. Yeah. It costs more than my house. I learned that I'll never win. Not that way. That's their game. Their rules. I'm not going to fight them. That's what I am. And only by admitting what we are can we get what we want. Well, you can imagine what it was like for me, a boy from nowhere, with nothing to his name, watching these legendary men tilting at the lists. The last two writers were Barristan Salmi and Rhaegar Targaryen. Yeah, it's definitely someone who's on a downward spiral. Um, someone whose life is not going as uh, he would have wished. Obviously, I don't just mean professionally, which is what was in my head there, but his, as the film starts, it's been a year since the death of his son in unclear circumstances. So that's, you know, quite a big thing, obviously. The prince does not wish to be disturbed. Remove yourself from my path or I'll take that long axe and I'll shove Captain. it Captain! Let her pass. The Sand Snakes are with me. They have the love of their people. They will avenge their father while you sit here in your chair doing nothing. How can you drink this piss? When we reach Sunspear, I'll treat you to a Dornish Red. The best in the world. Well, I play Ilaria Sand, who is over in Martell's Paramore. And we have been invited to the major wedding of the season. And that's basically all I can really tell you. But we're quite exotic and open and liberal. So we sort of spice it up a little bit. Can you tell us any more about what, like, what you love about your character? She's feisty, she's really strong. She comes from... I think we've, we decided that Dawn is... It's a much more liberal society. So she has equal power to her husband. Well, she's not a husband, but, you know, to the paramour and stuff. So I think it's her feistiness and strength. And also the love that her and Oberyn have for each other. It's really intense. Oh, look at these two shining warriors. It's uh, Taryn Mant and... Uh, so who's it of who cares? Sir Meryn Trant. Sir Bronn of the Blackwater. <laughs> I've never seen Valerian steel before. She's a beauty. Problem is, if you fight with an edge blade, I'll have to. And if I fight with an edge blade, I'll have no one left to pay me. Lollis will be marrying Sir Willis Brack. Hmm. We made a deal, your sister and I. I would have advised against that. How is this good for me? Because you're going to come with me and help me with something important. Yeah, well, I, I'll miss the premiere, sure, but it's... 
Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be really sad actually not to be able to sit down with my mates at home and have because we have a Thrones night on Monday nights at home. Do you really? Yeah, we do. Is like a theme or something? No theme. We just love you know. This is why I try not to read too much of the script. We just love watching it. There's nothing like it, and. I don't think there ever, you know, you are not going to be able to repeat that. There'll be lots of wonderful things. Won't, won't be anything quite like Thrones. So I will miss that and everything that goes with it. It's been a joy, but it's what a gift, you know. I feel so grateful as an actor. It's, it's, a, it's a dream. I'll answer to Mance. I won't answer to you. She yours. I'm not anybody's. Did I ever tell you about her? A Sheila. Yes. Oh, that was a night to remember. Of course, I'd had a good bit to drink. <laughs> it's not his men that worry me. It's his horses. I know what mounted knights can do to us. You and Stannis cut through us like piss through snow. That was over the nicknicks the knife. Steg 2. Öl. Drick öl. Det er masse D-vitamin, og gjerne hell øl i skjegget. Det, det er veldig bra for skjegget. Og så er det tredje, og det er det vanskeligste. Du må vente. Du må sitte og vente. You know, the genre of crime is very popular, uh, especially in Scandinavia. And this is maybe one of the, one of the, the, the kind of our classics. So um, when I was offered to do to come into this this show, it was very exciting. But he, he loves people, and and in many ways he's a, a modern policeman. He doesn't believe in violence.